Oh, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. We are coming live from the house with the dogs that are making a lot of noise right now. Today's video, as you can see from the title, um, we have a new vehicle. Um, obviously, judging from the title, it's a truck. I do apologize, these videos have been a little bit delayed um, with parts availability on stuff. Um, it's taken a little bit longer to get everything uh, which I'll go over to the, the Evo and the Jeep here in a second. Bro is getting finalized. We ran into one hiccup, um, which uh, again, I'll go over that in a little bit, but uh, I'll put this little teaser pickup on the screen real quick. But today, today's video, we're talking about a new tow pig. We do have a couple little things to put onto the truck and a couple things to take off of it that I don't like, but we are gonna give a full rundown and let me just tell you that a lot of the stuff I've seen on a truck, I didn't see when I was there. I don't know if it was excitement. I don't know if it was because it was uh, kind of cloudy out and I didn't get to see everything clear and the sunshine. Without further ado, um, let me go to the garage. The truck's already there. I'm gonna get my beer first. Oh yeah. Did you guys ready to see it? I don't do any uh, crazy editing and I don't know how to do crazy editing. I don't care to so i'm just going to turn the camera around i'm going to show you guys um what truck i got um and we're going to go over the interior first and then we will go over the exterior because it is very bright out so i want you guys to feast your eyes on a new tow pig new used all right so i'm almost into the garage um, but as you can see this is a uh ram we'll say a ram it's dodge 2012 um laramie limited so it has every single bell and whistle i guess you want to call them so i will tell you guys um she is a big fucking bitch like big obviously this is the biggest vehicle that i own um let me go back in the shade because i'm squinting over here um, i've opted for the 3500 obviously i wanted a 3500 because i eventually going to be getting a gooseneck so i wanted the long box or long bed I wanted a 3500, um, these are 2500s, they come with springs in the rear, like coil springs. I wanted the leaf packs um, because I can upgrade those leaf packs um, down the road. Hopefully in a couple months I can get some Devers. But now, let me go over the whole truck, I'm going to start from front to back, um, and then we'll go hop into the inside. I was going to do the inside first, but landscapers are gone, so let's do the outside now um, in this bright sun, and I'll go over everything that's going to be replaced or needs to be replaced, things that I found later on, um, and then we're going to go underneath the truck and show you um, what I didn't see when I bought it. So obviously, um, there's no gas trucks allowed in this driveway. Had to get to Cummins wanted the Cummins, wanted the Cummins for a very long time. Even when I got my F-250, I was looking at Cummins. And let me just say, this thing is, oh my goodness, night and day from my 7.3. My 7.3 was a slug. This one is a slug until about 1,500 RPMs, and then it just takes off so smooth. Um, I absolutely love this motor. The torque is like, comes on so fast on this thing. A couple things that I noticed, this is zip tie, this is broke. Uh, I'm gonna leave it because it's a pain in the dick to take these things out. So not much going on here, um, 6.7, this thing is bone stock. That's what I like about it, bone stock. Not one thing done to it. There's only one thing done, which is this stupid wire that was stupidly ran. Uh, full chrome. Um, I don't know if I wanna keep this or not. I have to see. I wanna paint match the bumpers at least, um, but I don't know how the bumpers paint matched and then a chrome grill is gonna look. So it was a guy across just, uh, around the block from me that kept all his chrome and his looks actually phenomenal. Um, so we'll see, I haven't decided yet. Um, I do have to pass by the body shop with this truck to have them kind of look at it. But uh, these headlights, they're, they're, they're going to get, uh, I'm, I gotta get rid of these headlights. A um, little crack down here. Um, some paint imperfections that they try to touch up with what looks to be like some paint that they get for a house. Um, I don't know, so that's all gonna have to be patched and repaired. Um, that's gonna be done, this is gonna be done. All this right here will be done. Truck is filthy, by the way. I have not watched it since I got in the truck back here. Um, so it was a 14 hour drive. Nothing really going on over here. Um, we're gonna get rid of this goofy antenna. OEM step bars, which 
we're gonna go over in a second here. Uh, door handles for sure, chrome, don't like them. Um, definitely gonna be paint matching these. The, it is a long box or long bed, whatever you wanna call it, 3500, so it does sit higher on the rear. Um, it does have like a two inch rake or something like that in the front, so it's lower two inches. This I do have to correct. Is I think there is paint underneath here. I don't know, apparently these are a factory option. I wanna have them removed. I'd rather these be white since there's no black up top um, it doesn't really follow anything um, I'd rather have these removed and just have these paint fun fact we have a fifth wheel hitch uh, I don't know why I just said hitch that way but I did um, I'm going to be getting rid of this um, this is for I'm assuming they probably had an RV uh, or a camp or whatever um, and they towed it with this I don't want this I want the ball hitch uh, bed liner looks pretty pretty fresh or just in really really good condition um, but they did not do that so I'm gonna have that done in bed liner as well all right let's step on inside all right so we are inside the truck and I could talk a little bit more I am very shy in public to be filming, even though my neighbors all know that I do vlogging and everything. I don't know why I get really like shy to sit there and just talk to a camera because I don't know. I'm just really, really shy, but now that I'm in the truck, you can see a little more energy. So I do apologize for the exterior just being real monotone and just, we're going to do this and do that. But, but now that we're in the interior, let me uh, turn the camera around and show you guys again. 2012 these are pre def trucks so they have no def fluid that you don't have to put any of that in there 2013 they start putting a def fluid so that's why you don't see a def gauge there it's a voltage gauge overall this truck is actually pretty pretty clean on the inside little things that i'm going to be replacing steering wheel is not bad little wear up here obviously because most people's hands are on the top here chrome inside i don't know if i'm going to i may I may delete all this chrome, it's pretty bright. Nice feature I like is the uh, wood grain. Um, it is a darker one, so as you can see, we'll, we'll get the sunlight out of there. It is the darker wood grain, it is not the walnut, the dark walnut color. Uh, comes with your standard uh, exhaust brake, tow haul, traction control um, for the 115 volt receptacle. Um, I really, really like that feature on my drive back from Washington. Um, I did use this. I had my phone charger plugged in. A nice feature I do like, it has heated and cooled seats um, for these days of summer that never end in California. Heated steering wheel. And when we go into the back, I'll show you the seats are heated as well. Uh, dual climate control, you know, just your typical features, which I've never had. I've never had dual climate control. I never had any of this. I'm always, you know, buying the ship boxes. Plenty of space in here. Plenty, plenty of space. I already broke this. Um, so, yep, yeah, that does that. We'll just, we'll just put that. Put that. Okay, we'll just leave. Cup holders, compliments of some chips. But, that, oh shit. I guess I should have. There we go. Um. Flat little console, flat little level thing, magic. I don't know. I don't really put much in here. I probably won't. Um, has your cigarette lighter. I don't know why. Actually, let's open this up. Sorry. Um, very, very, very deep pocket in here. Um, this is where you know the good old trusty Glock will sit. And that's it. Um, seats are actually in really, really good condition. To be honest with you um the camera makes it look very very like worse than what it is uh but honestly they're not bad they look almost like a uh almost almost like a longhorn edition style like how they start looking like they're fading but it looks like that old almost like an old leather and like in like if you ever played baseball and your glove starts wearing down like a natural leather wear uh, which I ac actually happen to really really love um, I love that distressed look all right let's go sit in the back real quick all right sitting in the back so you have a lot of space don't mind my little pasty chicken legs here my seats kind of back it probably can move up a little bit more because I like to sit a little bit closer but for reference, I'm about 5'11", um, and I have really long legs. Um, they're very, very 
very, very frail. You can literally just slouch all the way down and be fine. Uh, so a lot, a lot of space. Um, I like this feature, this little uh, belt type of thing. Uh, pretty cool that they put this in there on the, the Laramies, usually like the Longhorns and, uh, you know, the I think just the Longhorns. Um, really have these and have that brown leather, that nice brown leather. Uh, again, this is what I was talking about, uh, heated seats in the rear uh, for the two seats. I want to say this one is going to control both of these. I do not know um, if it just controls this seat and then this seat. So I don't know. I've never really tested them out. Uh, pff, fuck if I even know if they even work. Should have tested all that stuff from the get. But uh, 12 volt DC. Uh, what I may do is I may swap this out and hook it up to a USB. Seats are in very, very con good condition. Uh, for the rears, uh, obviously people probably don't sit in them um, Obviously, I will be conditioning them. I do have some good um, Leather cleaner and whatnot some like expensive shit a Little neat feature that I found So I lifted this up to see you want to see how the carpet looked which carpet actually looks really really good for the the year and the mileage these little storage compartments, so Throw some ice in here some beer Whew. Boy, you have yourself a party. Um, came with the Husky liners, which I'm super, super, super happy about because these things aren't exactly the cheapest. They're like 180, 200 bucks or whatever. Let's go under the truck because that's where I think the most money is going to be spent. Oh, go down here. As you can see, someone painted all up underneath you, like spray paint. They spray painted everything. Um, they spray painted these as you can see these things are like pitted um, and they are literally just starting to rot which um, We're gonna be taking these off anyway. I don't like these see this is a Northwest truck. So rust is pretty prevalent. I'm gonna have the body shop look over a lot of this stuff Because as you can see Once I refocus again, this is all starting to rust um, all the all the pinch welds all the way down and that So someone came in here and just spray painted everything to try to hide it as you can see all the overspray right here But you can see they spray painted part of the leaves um, They spray painted the shocks. Yeah, so I mean there's really not much to it um, I'm gonna be making more videos with this truck. I got some like I said, I got some stuff on the way for it um, some fun stuff and some boring stuff. I got some boring stuff over here that we're gonna take care of and we're gonna take off a couple things off the truck um, and remove them. This is for the tailgate. This is an actual OEM piece as well. Um, this one will fit. Um, so you just gotta peel, you guys gotta heat it up and peel it back. Once you can peel it back, you should be able to keep heating it and it should peel off. And then I'll just have to peel off the adhesive off the truck, clean it up. And then you have the lineup screws or lineup tabs, pop this on, and we should be money with putting this on. Should be a simple install. Um, these emblems, uh, these are not OEM. And then what I'm gonna take off is this stupid little bug deflector thing. I don't like them, I understand why they're there, but I want it, I want it gone. This is gonna be gone, and then we're gonna take off the step rails um i do want to splurge for better ones um but for now i'm going to take these off i am looking at a tuner for it as well um i want to try to pick that up as quickly as possible um because i have some stuff coming for the truck that's gonna need it but let's go ahead and take that bug deflector off and i'm going to take the step rails off and then throw them in a better truck because i'm just going to throw them out
say that was more of a pain in the ass than I thought. So I was having a problem getting the adhesive off um, and it was just spreading all over the place. Get all the break clean. Hopefully that's lined up as best as possible. Before I put the new one on the other side, I'm gonna have to measure and make sure that it's kind of spaced properly here. As you see, this one's further away. So I'm gonna rinse and repeat on this side. Um, again, I use brake cleaner. Um, better prep would have been a wire, uh, not a wire wheel, a 3M eraser wheel. Um, those work a lot better. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat on that side and then I'll come back to you guys. Uh, we are gonna get this truck washed because it definitely needs a wash. I don't know why I say wash like that, like, like a normal person. I'm gonna get it a wash, okay? Not a wash, a wash. And we have the rear emblem. And I think that about wraps it up for this video. All right, passenger side badge is on. Overall, I like the look of the old black. All right, truck's backed in. Let's get this badge off. I'm gonna remove this badge as well. And I may even fuck around and remove this one. I don't know yet. Man, does that look so much better. I love OEM stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and peel the 4x4 off. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna peel the Limited off or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and peel that off and then we'll uh, close this video out. Oh yeah, so much better without that 4x4. But this is where your boy's gonna go ahead and end this video. Again, wasn't really much going on with the truck yet, yet. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, stay hungry, stay humble. Yeah, that's all I got. I swear to God, man, I'ma make it soon. Silence all the haters as they see us making moves. I do what I want, so I got nothing to prove. Staying motivated, teaching others what to do.